Good afternoon family and friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nyamaka Rosilla. I'm having a quiet Sunday afternoon at home in Sierra Leone. Today is what? Sunday the 9th of October. Ooh. So here I am sitting here. Eating my snacks and minding my business. I had lunch this afternoon with a friend of mine, which was quite nice and pleasant. We went out to um, a resort not too far from here and we had something nice to eat. It's a place I go quite often, so I know what their quality is like up there. So, yes, yeah, so it's all right actually. And this, this thing that I'm eating is called a rice occur. So it's made of banana, rice flour, a little bit of nutmeg, um, sugar. Um, it's made into a dough ball thing and then it's fried. Which sort of sounds horrible, the fried bit of it. But actually there's so much banana in there, which is quite nice. I like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, um, yeah. So it's been a nice, it's been a nice weekend altogether. Mm, it's been a nice day today. <laughs> so far, so far. Um, last week started off being really sort of rough. I came back to Australia, and I had some things. Some things were missing from the property <laughs> it's one of those things um i'm never going to be able to tell who's taken those items from my premises i'm never ever going to be able to find out that's just the way it is and um however many theories i have in my head i'm not going to be able to find out so Thankfully, none of it was life-threatening, so I put it to one side, move on with life, you know. Um, yeah, so here I am. I've made it known in the last week or so that I'm very interested in um, running um, as an MP for um, to be a member of parliament um, for the area where my grandmother is from. So, I'm on that journey now. Um, the way that it works here in Sierra Leone is that your, the political party of which you are a member has to um, approve that in a way by giving you a symbol to say that you're running under their, under their wing, as it were. So, that's the process that I'm on is basically trying to get this symbol, trying to get people to think I'm worthy. <laughs> Actually, in Sierra Leone, it's not that straightforward. <laughs> Some people in the past and at present haven't been worthy at all. And they've got it by one way or the other. I'm rather hoping that um, the party which I'm a member of, which is the National Grand Coalition, I'm rather hoping that they see me as a worthy person, as a matter of fact, that um, I'm given it based on the, f on, on the fact that I'm serious about um, what I'm doing. I have a good track record in so far as my profession or my life is concerned. Um, I'm known as being an activist. I feel I know. <laughs> I'm known for speaking out against um, wrongdoing in society. I've always been that person. And I think 
the more um, the more I speak out as the years go go on, the more I think, well, do you know what? I could spend the rest of my life talking about stuff, and we we would never ever have solutions for these problems. And it's not so much as having solutions. I think we all know what the solutions are. Can the solutions be implemented? I think that's the real question. And because life is the way that it is in the sense that accountability isn't forced on people in parliament or people who have who are in authority because accountability isn't demanded from them um so they more or less ride roughshod over everything and anything that's um decent <laughs> the rule of law mm you know, parliamentary standards, the political process, the judiciary, the police, anything that makes society whole is um, co-opted into the government artillery, if you like, and it is then used against the populace. Do you see what I mean? So if you don't have responsible people, I mean, that could go on ad infinitum forever, it probably would never stop, you know. So part of the reason why I'd like to be involved, if, if I could, if it were possible, if some, if, <laughs> if the people who are responsible think, oh my goodness, we think she's a responsible woman, we'll get her on. If they think that and they're able to give me the symbol I just work my ass off trying to make sure that I do the right thing. Giving it to me is one thing. Actually winning the elections and being able to enter Parliament as a member of Parliament for the area that I want to um, represent is another matter altogether. Because, of course, the whole thing is then made even more complicated and complex because people vote on tribal grounds. Hello? <laughs> so what does that make me as a minority tribe in Sierra Leone? You know, so there's a whole lot of kerfuffle, I'm telling you. Anyway, um, better off to have a go, to try and see what you can do, try and be part of the process, try and see what you can change you know do something get in there do something don't just spend your whole life talking about stuff and not doing anything that's the point i'm at but then again you have to be prepared for the naysayers the people at the back who are always complaining always saying that um you know that you have a hidden agenda there's something secretive going on that um that um you're you've got ulterior motives um uh, you're a bit dodgy you're not you know there's always people who would come out and say stuff that you're thinking my goodness me what on earth are you talking about you know so there's always people like that i think at the end of the day you have to kind of like just keep your head down Keep your head down, realise it's not every single thing you have to respond to and move on. Where you have to, um, <laughs> which is which is actually quite difficult, it's not as easy as it sounds. So where you have to, there will be things that you'll have to respond to and make that known. You can do it, make a statement, talk about it, your social media, very, very well. Use social media very well, actually to sort of put your points across, or very sensibly, I, sh I should say. Yes, very well, very sensibly, um, in a concise manner, in um, um, a targeted way, you know. And I think people ought to just try and be honest. I really do think people ought to try and be honest. The other day, somebody sent me a message and said that... Um, I'd taken a picture of my great-granduncle in his home and somebody said, why didn't you paint the house before you took the picture? 
um, he looks old and this and that. And I said, well, it, it's his house. Um, I'm not directly the person who's got to go and paint it, do you know what I mean? And if I, if I were to go there, paint the house, dress him up in clothes, because the gentleman's quite elderly. It's my, my grandmother who's, who had died over, like it must be like 30 years ago my grandmother died. It's her youngest brother. So, he, I mean, this man's got like 18 kids of his own. Do you know what I mean? And I get in there and try and start changing things and stuff like that when nobody's asked me to. could be a bit of a problem, yeah? And you've got to, in, in many ways, portray the truth. Or as close to the truth as you can possibly get to. Do you know what I mean? Without falsifying things, without making things to be what they are not, um, trying to... Um, show something in in the light in a light that's um just not truthful <laughs> i'm struggling a bit it, you know you know so i think start as you mean to go along be honest and um just tell the truth be truthful don't try and paint things in a way that they aren't you know because I think that's problematic. And I think that once you start on that um, sort of pathway of being dishonest, of painting things in a different light, of hiding some things, of being open about... I'm not saying that you've got to be open about everything. There are some things that are not for public consumption. You keep those to yourself or your husband or wife or your children or, you know, members of your family that um, you trust and believe in, or your friends that you trust and believe in. Um, they are private matters, you know, but I think that whatever it is that's being put out there in public has to have, has to be authentic. That's how accountability starts. That's how truthfulness um, in politics starts you're not going to be able to talk about everything and tell people every single detail of every stuff of anything of everything that's going on but by the same token if you have to respond to people you try as best as possible to um, give an answer that's appropriate and correct for the time I think so anyway in any case um, my grandfather, or great-grand-uncle, it's not actually my grandfather, great-grand-uncle, he was fine. Um, <laughs> he was fine. You know, I mean, he's a healthy man. Obviously, he, needed, he needs to be healthy to, her, to live to about 90-something years. I mean, like, you know, that's quite rare in our society. And that in itself is a is, um, cause for celebration. The fact that he's past 90 year, years old. <laughs> so I, I think that's a good thing. And um, yeah, they're quite content people. That's the other thing. And they have pride. They don't ask people for stuff and they don't try and wheedle you to be to try and get money out of people that sort of thing they're quite content people they're quite very religious and they believe that you know god will supply their needs really so anyway that's by the by thing is <laughs> one needs um a lot of patience tolerance and just kind of um make sure that you're on the right path and on the right track in so far as accountability, truthfulness and honesty is concerned. I'd hate to do or be anything else. So I hope I can contribute. I really do. I really do hope I can contribute. I think that I'd be, I'd be able to make a proper difference 
in the lives of people in the constituency, I really absolutely think that I would be able to make a difference. I hope that I can be given a chance. So that's my my little um, discussion for today. Um, thank you for watching. If you're watching this, if you have an opinion, let me know. Um, yeah. And hopefully we'll be discussing in the next weeks and days to come. All right. Do please subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you. And um, subscribe, share, leave a comment, say hello, tell me who you are. Thank you very much. God bless.